Hi, I just wanted to give you a little bit more information today about the acoustical frequencies that I'm using in my WaveWatch, a new product that is on, in the, it's in the pre-production stages. We're waiting for just a few parts, but I hope to release it on Indiegogo so that you can order it just about any time. But it's WaveWatch, W-A-V, Waves and Vibrations, so that you can look this up and learn about it, wavewatch.com. And so these are uh, acoustical uh, frequencies that are embedded in the watch and there's about 675 of them for so many different kinds of health problems. And what I wanted to say because somebody emailed me and said, Linda, is this approved by the American Medical Association? And I had to think about that quite a bit. No, it is not approved by the AMA and I don't know if they would ever actually get involved because these are acoustical frequencies. So they are not regulating frequencies in any way, shape, or form. So uh, acoustical frequencies from 4 to 20, 40, excuse me, 40 to uh, 20,000 hertz are within our normal hearing range and not uh, problematic. Uh, but the AMA does like sound frequencies for many, many uses. So we have our ultrasound. We have our MRIs that use ultrasound frequencies. And we actually have lithotripsy. And I did kind of want to mention that one and maybe pick on it just a little bit. Because lithotripsy that we use for kidney stones and breaking them up is actually ultrasound. And they actually turn on that ultrasound system and uh, focus it right on a kidney stone and uh, break those kidney stones up. But sometimes that's a long process. Sometimes it's hard on people. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes there's a huge bruising in that area. Uh, but on the other hand, the Scientific American does quote and say that lithotripsy that they do not know what frequencies to use. So they just blast you with every frequency there is. So that's why it's a little hard on you. On the other hand, I have nine testimonies from the Wave Watch. And basically, people are wearing a watch and it says, you know, or it will say kidney stones when you're playing it. It's making a little tiny buzzing sound. You can barely hear it. And they're not having any pain or pressure and it, the watch itself costs around $200 versus the cost of other things and problems with kidney stones. So in answer to that question, will the AMA ever look at this? I do not know, but I do not feel so because it's a safe, acceptable uh, modality. Uh, it's just like singing or humming a song. Just think how awkward it would be if uh, the AMA got into regulating songs that we sing, you know. So uh, very interesting that we are saving, using and uh, saving uh, different uh, types of uh, healthcare problems by using acoustical frequencies. And there's ancient technology behind it. So thanks for listening.